when you take psychedelics, the activity in your brain is actually lower, which is really surprising to me. Two interesting things to point out from there. The first is somehow, when they measure brain activity on psychedelics, you would expect that brain activity is higher when you're on psychedelics because you're open to a much wider range of experiences. It feels like stuff is just pouring onto you, just life experience, sensations, all of that. That would have to be heightened brain experience, but it's not. When you take psychedelics, the activity in your brain is actually lower, which is really surprising to me. Super glad Alex O'Connor mentioned this because, again, goes against completely what you would expect. What really seems to be going on, or I guess, I mean, no one fucking knows what's going on with that drug, honestly. But what seems to be going on is that by default, your brain blocks certain... Just itching my toe real quick. Okay, running back. Yeah, so by default, your brain blocks... Your By default, your brain would experience more. But your brain uses more energy and more electrical activity to stop your brain from just experiencing everything all at once. It's almost like if your brain couldn't... It's almost like your brain is paying a big price to dampen the potential range of experience and maybe to prioritize certain ones over others to keep your brain stable. Which is very surprising, to me at least. So I wanted to mention that from the podcast. That's something worth looking into more. 